Good evening, Ambassadors. I am Gideon Chaba for Gamsi UCC Local President. We are coming your way with online midweek teachings. Because of the COVID-19, we can't come together as we used to do at Amamuma. So we entreat all our ambassadors to stay glued to Gamsu UCC TV each and every Thursday, starting from this tonight. We'll be coming your way with an online midweek teachings. Invite an, a brother to invite a sister to also invite another person. Shall we pray? Thank you, Jesus, once again for a blessed day. Pray for all ambassadors watching that you touch the hearts of your people, that you use my tongue as a hand, as a pen in the hand of a skillful writer. At the end of the day, we all will be blessed. In the name of Jesus, I will pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless us once again. As I said, I first said, we'll be coming your way each and every Thursday with these teachings. Invite each and every one, uh, even if the person is not an ambassador, this is the word of God, and each and every one of us needs the word of God. Quickly, let's open our Bibles to Luke chapter 15, verse 17 to 20. Luke chapter 15, verse 17 to 20. And I read, and I read, when he came to himself, his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired servants? have food to spare and here i am starving to death i will set out and go back to my father and say to him father i have sinned against heaven and against you i am no longer worthy to be called your son make me like one of your hired servants so he got up and went to his father but while he was still long away off his father saw him and and was filled with compassion for him he ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. Verse 20 again. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. This is the word of God. Beloved, I want us to discuss a topic I've entitled, talking to yourself talking to yourself we are talking about uh, a popular a popular person people have named him because of what he did in scriptures some called him the reckless son others are calling him the prodigal son if you read from verse 11 the same chapter 15 verse 11 you see that jesus was speaking in the parable and this that was the parable was about this prodigal son, or the reckless son, anyhow you choose to call this son. This morning, this evening, I want us to learn a lot from him. Bible has it that he went to his father and he demanded his rightful belongings, his possession out of all that his father had. And scriptures had it that his father gave it to him and he left home into a far country and he spent it recklessly. Now, the reason why I titled this message Talking to Yourself, the best message ever in this world is not what your Reverend Minister preached, but the best message is the one you preach to yourself. That one that you yourself, like I say, I say to myself that this, that and that is the best message because that one is coming from me and I will ensure that it will be done. How was he to know that even as he's taking his possessions, he was going to live a worthless life? How was he to know that he, though he had gathered a lot, though he had, he had enough, though he had abundance, how was he to know that he was going to live a reckless life? I know some of us very anointed. Some of us 
talk, told our parents, probably we are coming to campus, coming to school. How, how was I to know? Or how were you to know? That even as we are, camp we are coming to campus, there are a lot of distractions. There are a lot of friends. There are a lot of cliques you're going to fall into. That is going to harm you or injure you or contradict your stay on campus. The other time I was saying there are a lot of side attractions. But when you fall for them, they become distractions. The prodigal son had a lot. He went into a far country and he, he, left, he lived a reckless life. This is, this is some occurrences in our lives. Most of the youth, we, we engage in youthful exuberance, a whole lot of things. But in all thy ways, Hannah thy God. He came to his father to negotiate his living. Sir, whenever you are ready to sin, God will not stop you. As a matter of fact, the force of sin is stronger than the force of reasoning. He came to his father, told his father that, Daddy, I am of age. I have come of age. I want to go and live on my own. I've been with you for long. And I know you wonder, just as I am wondering, why would the father finance his son's living despite his knowledge about it, the maturity of his father? Sir, the maturity of a tree is not known by its size, but the roots it bears downwards. And I believe the father knew that his son was not up to that level that he can stay and manage his own affairs. Yet he financed his living. He gave him money. He gave him support. Without the father's support, you can never rebel. Without the father's support, you can't rebel. And as I said, when you are getting ready to sin, God will not stop you. The message of God are in the approval of God. There are a lot of things going on in our lives. Yes, I know you, are, you might be a man of God. You might be a prophet. You might be a preacher. You might be, you might be an, an evangelist. You might be a student also. Things are going on with you well. But you, you know that you are indulging in a particular sin, a particular lifestyle. Yet things are going on with you well. Sir, the, the message of God aren't the approval of God. The fact that you are not facing the adverse effect of whatever you find yourself in and you still see progress does not mean God is happy with you. But the last time, as scripture says, God st is still looking forward for us to come back. His arms are too wide for us. I was said he took a lot. He went out into a far country and he spent it recklessly. His father supported his living. Does that mean that his father never loved him? Hmm. Love is not always, it's not always pleasant. How do I mean? At times, love is standing afar and letting it go off, despite the love you have for the thing. Like plus a, a flower, but love nurses a flower. If you like a flower, you just pluck it. But if you love a flower, you would love to pluck it but because of the love you want for that flower you want to have a replication of the flowers so you will nurse it for you to grow so the father loved him but not for his son to do any other thing else he had to sponsor him despite his knowledge about his immaturity when you are ready to say god will not stop you remember the force of sin is stronger than the force of reasoning you to God or away from God. What do we see? The youth of today so eager to make it in life. Early breakthrough. <laughs> desperate to make money, desperate to buy cars, desperate to build new houses. Forgetting that life is a process. We forgo the process and we want a, an expected end. We are always desperate because we are energetic. Desperate in everything. Let me be mindful that how desperate you are can either take you to God or take you away from God. Not forgetting, not forgetting the Bible said, but godliness with contentment. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 6 coming down. But godliness with contentment is a great gain. For we brought nothing to this earth, and it is certain we can carry nothing out of it. Having food and clothing, we should be there with content. For the love of money is the root of all evil which was some converted after and they have heard from the faith and they have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But thou, O an ambassador, but thou, O 
Kofi, but thou, Ama, but thou, my dear viewer, fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. What do you convert after? What do you follow? What are your priorities? Is God part of your plan? The other time I was privileged to be with the Valco family and I was telling them that there are some people, they, they can't talk without that eye concept. But I was telling somebody that it is not automatic for you to, to wake up in the morning. No. As a matter of fact, who did you uh, inform before you slept? You didn't even pray. So it is not automatic for you to wake up. But God has been graceful to you. Somebody ate the best of fruits. Somebody take, took the best of medication. When are you trying to say? God is with us. But it looks as if the youth of today, especially you and myself, we are always desperate to get things hurriedly. He took too much. He, he went too far. He spent everything. And to come back was a problem. He took too much. He went too far and, to, and he spent everything and to come back became a problem. Where do you find yourself, my dear ambassador? As I am talking, you can assess yourself. That is why I titled it Talking to Yourself. Not me talking to you, but you talking to yourself. Where you find yourself? Even as I speak to you, where are you coming from? Why are you watching this video? Where were you last night? Where were you two days to, uh, to, uh, before today? The click in which you find yourself. Do you reflect on the very advice, on the very things your, your, your Reverend Minister told you before you came? Do you reflect on the very things your mother and your father told you, the advice they gave you before you came to campus? Can you compare the advice to what you find yourself in now? Bible said, nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Let, that, let everyone that named after the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. For in the great house, like, like Gamsu uses in local, they are not only vessels of wood, of, of gold and of silver, sorry, but of wood and of clay. Some to Hannah and some to this Hannah. Are you a vessel of Hannah or a vessel of this Hannah? He was called a prodigal son. When you be woken, what man do? Can you also be called a prodigal son, or you can be called a name better off? You are calling him a prodigal son. What is your name then? Are you better than he is? What path are you treading? Sin can take you further than you intended to go. Let me tell you. You might be anointed. You might be a preacher, as I said earlier, sir. But you can be confused. Because an anointed ignorant man is a powerful fool. It is about time you came to a realization. I was asking myself, why would Bible use the King James Version said, and when he came to himself, that means there was a journey within him, a journey within him. When he came to himself, I want to speak to somebody by the power of God. I don't know how far that Tisen has taken you. I don't know how far you've got into in that masturbation, in that theft. I don't know how far you've got into in that evil concubiscence, in that gossip nature, in that wayward life. I am calling you by the power of God. Come back. No matter where you've gone to, I am calling you by the grace of God. Come back. Bible said he came back to himself. Talking to yourself. It is about time I came to a realization and I spoke to the me within me and I said, Jay, you've gone too far, you've, you've spent too much and now you have to come back. The Bible said he came to himself. You've stayed somewhere for long. Not a place as it is, but I'm talking about that character, that attitude of yours. Where do you sleep during nights? Talking to yourself. You have come You've come to school, but you've had a friend that was able to advise you that even attending lectures is not necessary, but staying at Inkoso during weekends is a necessity. Sir, talking to yourself. You've come to a place where, where, where you fall into a clique 
where when you are called for prayer meetings, you are called for church service, they tell you, yes, sorry, I call, sorry, I call, I call, I call, I call. But when they call you to, to, to go for partying, it becomes a necessity. Start talking to yourself. You've gone too far. Come back. Come back because God is waiting for you. When you read the verse 20, the Bible said, when he was far away, his father was also looking forward to his coming. So, so Bible said he saw him afar off and he ran to him. God, the father in the in the picture is God. And the prodigal son is a typology of you and I. You and I. A yawu and a meal. A radita be a bon continent shall see a best another. A brahma for a cassa share. Shall say, Chay and Yen Ye, Shall say, Cabinet Walker, Cassel Cassel, who don't know that's where you're born in. People are always accusing us. And for what the Bible said, Bible said, and when the sons of God met in the account of Job, Bible said, Now Satan entered. <laughs> God asked him, Where are you from? He said, I'm to and fro. And God said, I feel seen, I feel tested myself and Job. And God and, and Satan started accusing. It is not. It is not you, God, that has shielded him, that has given him all that. God said, "I've given you a free, a free space, but touch not his heart." I'm asking, can God testify about you? A ready made me do one dance. Answer the Now, sake of time, I want to take you through some few steps. Only three to talking to yourself few steps first i wrote something here recognition must lead you to repentance if you truly want to talk to yourself recognize yourself and when you recognize yourself why am i talking about recognition his father was a rich man but where did he end up eating with swine <laughs> the last time he checked he said ah how many servants and maids has my father that I am here feeding with, in fact, competing with the leftover of swine. I'll go back. Recognition must lead you to repentance. Repentance is not only from sin, but from all bad notices. Every bad thing you find yourself in, even if there is no God, there is what they call conscience. As Antiphosi Tibwa, Obi Yebi was in Tibwa before. They will say, My conscience serves me right. Whatever you find yourself in, does your conscience serve you right? Repent, sir. Half obedience, half disobedience, half obedience is still disobedience. You don't you can't tell me I obeyed you in part and I disobeyed or and I disobeyed in part. Sorry. If you are disobedient, you are disobedient. If you're obedient, you're obedient. Half obedient is still disobedient. Number two, conviction must lead you to confession. Conviction must lead you to confession. When you are convicted, now you must be moved to confess your sins. Bible said He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. God is ready. Bible said His Father was He was away. He was a far away, far away off. But His Father saw Him. It tells you how His Father longed day in day out to see His Son. One of the painful things. Is to forgive somebody who is not sorry. Some of us we are too arrogant. We go to the Lord in a place of prayer and we are still arrogant, trying to cover up. Sir, let me advise you from today. If you go to the Lord in prayer, don't be arrogant. Talk to God. Uncover everything before God. Go to God as you are. Go to God as Che. Go to God as Kojo. There is no need for cover ups. And the last thing I'll leave you with is if you want restoration, then you have to return. <laughs> and Ako Fado, our president, will tell you it is the year of return. If you want to be restored, not forgetting his father was a rich man. And not forgetting that if his father, if, if he was to be with his father, he would have had the best of meal to eat and the best of robe to wear. Uh, and he said, no, 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 no. I, I, have, I have a better pray, place of so I want to be restored and I'll return. And when you are returning, don't go to your senior brother. No. If you read the account, Bible said his, his brother was pissed off when he when he heard uh, the party going on, the party being thrown for his brother. He was pissed off. Don't go to don't go to your brother. He's not he's not a father. 
Father means source. Source is where we get something from. So if the product is disconnected from the source, it goes into extinction. Sir, never be disconnected from your source. There are some of you, you take the advice of your pastor and you, you, you treat your parents as trashes, forgetting that the only commandment with a promise is, is honoring that father and thy mother. President, and you think you call yourself an anointed person. Sir, talking to yourself. If you want to be restored, then return. You we are too proud, we are too arrogant to say sorry. Come on, sorry. I'm gonna be our year. Come on, sorry. I'm not obi. 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 Ah, go nima the fellow colleague. I go nima the went man. Can sorry inti. She be be a usi GPA da. One chere one here. And kaka uti mi can sorry. I no go count one. And can sorry. Who does only need group studies? I'm a new man. Koi. If you want to restoration, then return to God. When you are getting ready to go back, as I said, don't go to your other brother. Go to your father. I love the verse twenty. Bible said. He was a he was a way far off. He was a way far off. But his father saw him. As I end my message, God is always longing. Uh, longing for his son. Especially me and you. God is, 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 is always longing for us to come back. Sir, talk to yourself. You've taken too much. You've gone too far. You've spent everything. It's okay. Yes, they are criticizing you. <laughs> yes, they said there is no expectation that the, any, any better thing that can be expected from you. Here I am, under the power of the Holy Ghost. I speak to your body, I speak to your soul, and I speak to your spirit. Come back wherever you've got into. God is longing to see you. Bible said, Blessed is the man that has not walked in the council of the ungodly. Not seated in the seat of the scoffer, not standing in the way of sinners, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Where is your delight? And the law of the Lord does it meditate day and night. Consistency. Oh, yeah, sorry, and then I did it. And now, one pie, I did it. I will be before. And now, yes, I did it. I will. So, persistence, they say, breaks resistance. As I end my message, I want you to. Talk to the you within you, the inner you. This body is not changed. No, it's not the kwekuche you see, but that which you hear. Talk to yourself. Recognize yourself, because recognition must lead you to repentance, and after that, that conviction must lead you to confess. And after the confession, if you want restoration, then return to the Father. God loves you. God still longs to see you. Everybody say one Paul. Everybody say one change say one Obesaba. God loves you once again. There is a, a, a Methodist hymn that says, "Beloved, let us laugh, for love is of God. In Him alone hath love." Lord, the Lord, the God, the God of God, so bless and keep you. May He lift His countenance upon you. And I pray, that may the Lord touch your hearts. That wherever you find yourself, that your conscience does not serve you right. Any click that you find yourself, that you know it's not helping you. May the Lord grant you that grace to come back. Amen. Shall we pray? Thank you, Jesus, for the lives of our viewers and for your message. We pray that you will touch the hearts of your people. And let there be a massive transformation. Thank you. Be with us. Protect us even throughout the week, even in our lectures and our quizzes. We bless you. Amen. Ambassadors, thank you for your time. Next week, Thursday, same time, you will see us. Invite a brother to invite a sister to invite a friend. God bless you. Stay safe and observe all the, pro all the COVID protocols. Ambassadors, still in unity and love. Bye-bye.